Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. Today, I want to show you how you can create a countdown timer using Canva's new video features or video editing options. And we're going to add in there some like extra kind of like multiple music options and layers. And it's also going to be how you can kind of like decide on the timing of when you want animations to come into your videos. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for this full video. There's a lot to pack in, but let's get started and dive into Canva. But before we do, for those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and Canva creator. That means I create content directly on Canva, all the templates and things like that. I got a link down below that you can check out to a link to my templates there and also a 45 day free trial of Canva. But let's get dive into Canva and get started. Here we are, we're in Canva and what we want to do is we want to come over to video. Now, in order to create this using the new video features, this is where we're going to start. If you start off with something else or a normal kind of like blank template, it's not going to give you the same options as the video features that we're going to be going through today. So I want to create something for YouTube. I'm going to create this kind of like 10 second countdown. Okay, so that's the 10 second countdown that we're going to create in today's video. But so let's dive in. What I'm going to do, click on this, create blank template. And what we've got down here, this is the new kind of like timeline, if you like, for the video editing options. And so you'd be able to, you can add different screens on here. I'm not going to add a different screen on here. I'm just clicking Control Z to undo what I've just done. Um, I want to have just one timeline. And there's a purpose that we're going to do, keep the one timeline for, uh, to start with. Down here, this is where you can zoom into either the page or you can see that the, it changes and that's where you can then zoom into the thumbnails. So I can zoom in down here and get a really detailed look. That's going to come in handy when you're doing a 10 second countdown timer. First thing we're going to want to do is we want to find a background for our 10 second countdown. So we're going to come in. This is the one that I found. I just searched for different backgrounds. There's all sorts of different backgrounds that you could have. Depends on what you want to create the countdown timer for. I really liked this one because it's kind of like got kind of like gold glittery flakes. I thought it was almost kind of like a almost like a party countdown. Zoom down the timeline a little bit. Okay, because this is a minute long. We only want 10 seconds. So all I'm gonna do is I'm dragging and clicking on the end, you'll see it change the arrows, clicking and dragging and taking that down to 10 seconds. Now we've got it down to 10 seconds, we're then gonna and zoom in again to the timeline. Now, before we start chopping it up, we want to make sure that we've got our text and our kind of like anything we want on the screen. We're going to want to make sure we've got it on the screen because otherwise it's going to be a little bit more difficult to kind of like line things up properly. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to text. I'm going to choose heading and I'm going to choose type in the number 10 and then I'm going to change this to, I want it to be about 300 pixels tall the font I'm going to center that the font that I want to use is this 10 Ashford one I just like it it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit bolder really nice kind of heading and then I'm just going to type going live in there highlight that again and then change that to be tan headline and I'm going to change that to be 100 and then I can just resize this one I want it to be up at the top here and I want it to be in the center so once you've got the text highlighted and you've got it roughly in possession just make sure it's still highlighted and you can click center the same on this one it's already centered I can see that when I was put on there but that's a way to make sure things are centered and in the position that you want them to be in might bring that down a little bit there just to kind of like balance the screen out a little bit more so now what I've got there is we've got that I want to make this kind of like a bit more of a goldy color to kind of like match the kind of like the yellowy kind of like aspect in the background and if you want to what you can do is you can come over to this document colors and if you click on the add new color you can then click on the new eyedropper now i do believe this is only in a couple of the browsers but it is now available to get the color picker on the desktop and i can come over here and say i wanted it to be more kind of like this color and then once that's in my thing, I can then have that 
there if I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm, it's not quite the colour I was after. It's kind of like, there you go, that's the more kind of like goldy, yellowy kind of like fleck. But that's how you can get it to kind of like match anything that's in the background. And you can literally just drag this eyedropper anywhere around the screen. So it could drag it around here, all the way up here, or down here. Obviously, you can just click on those. But that's how you can use the new colour picker. Right. Now, we've got that on there. What we want to do now is we want to split this timeline up. Now, the reason for doing this is that if once we've got this video, you see how we've got it on there and it's playing the full 10 seconds from start to finish. If we created 10 individual kind of like frames, if you like, and added the video on every time, it's going to start that video from the beginning. It's not going to kind of like be consistent. It's going to look a little bit kind of like jerky and jumping. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag this timeline all the way across like this. And that's 10 seconds now if we right click on this and click split we can take that over to two seconds and click split and the more you zoom in to the timeline so if i wanted to zoom in as much as i can i can zoom in there at 500 percent i don't think i can go more no 500 percent is as close to the zoomiest i can get is 500 percent so he's going to click on those. I'm just going to go along and keep split these up. So Okay, so there we are. We've now got 10 frames. And you'll see as this plays through, oops, we start it from the front. As this plays through, you can see the background is consistent. There's no kind of like jerkiness in the background there it's kind of like playing through and this is how you can decide where and when you want things to animate on your screen so if you want, I've got a clip of a video that's only so long what you can do is you can export your video re-import it and then cut it at that point or you can cut the timeline so if I wanted to put something in there I could then do it kind of like halfway through this second so after 0.5 seconds I could clip it in the middle and then that would come on for like half a second if you like okay so now we've got that all we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come in and change all, each of these down to make sure we're counting down okay so let me just quickly play this for you I've changed all the numbers on there for you now and you can click on this grid view down here and that'll also let you see that it's counting down all you do is double click back on there or click down there but yeah there you go 10 seconds you can see it's counting down but we can do more we can make this a little bit more and you'll have noticed it's a little bit different and a little bit more dramatic in the bit that i clipped that i showed you earlier on at the beginning of the video so what we're going to want to do now is on this we want to add some animation to each of these numbers so i'm going to animate these on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them alternately ascending and descending. Now descending is actually shift. You can see as you roll over these. So I want to do that one and then click on this. So now we've got those going on up and down the screen. It gives it a little bit more kind of like dynamic feeling to it so let me just quickly play that back so we've got it kind of like coming up and down it's a little bit jerky in the middle there but that's just the way it kind of like plays back within canva so there you go that's what we've got so far um but what we need is we need something that's a little bit you know it's gonna add a little bit more tension to it and that's where the music comes in so yes there are audio options in canva give them a go they're backed by epidemic sound if you're exporting them and using them on youtube make sure that you link your youtube channel let me just quickly show you if i quickly just add it's got a little bit at the end here so if i do that and i click download you'll see it asks me to connect it to my social media accounts just click on connect to social media accounts if you don't connect it to your social media account where you're going to use it be that youtube facebook or anything like that you could have a copyright strike on your video and you don't want that and you have to do this every time 
you're using it in a video because it's going to connect it to your video and you have the option or you're only allowed to use it once every time you download it that's what it's giving you the option to do it's giving it you it's a sign in kind of like a certificate if you like to your channel in order to use that video each time you use it that's my understanding of how it works because I've had people say to me that they've received a copyright strike best way to get around it is to sign up for epidemic sound I personally am an epidemic sound ambassador I have before I became an ambassador I've been using epidemic sound for two or three years if you're interested in trying epidemic sound there's a 90 day free trial down in the description below that's valid until the 2nd of December outside of that it's a 30 day trial so if you're watching this after the 2nd of December 2021 it's you know a 30 day trial unless that's changed um, so I'm just gonna delete that because I don't want that audio on there what I want is some of the audio that I've uploaded so what I've got is I've got this here so I'm gonna bring my playhead back to the beginning because you'll notice if you've got your playhead at the end it it kind of like puts your audio and it's a little bit fiddlier to kind of like add on there so all I do is I've gone on to epidemic sound found the one that I want click download downloaded it uploaded it back into canva under my upload section and that's where i've now got this section here so let's play that and see okay so there you go it's kind of like building up the tension for those last 10 seconds of your video what you could do then is you could add in a pop so i'm just going to bring my playhead to the start of the nine second here and i've just downloaded this kind of like suction pop option here and then just add that in and i can add multiple options in here so now what i can do is as each time that kind of like counts down i'm also getting a kind of like a pop So that's really good. So I'm just going to add that in for the remaining seconds. Okay, so I've added those in there, but I've left this one off here and I might actually delete this one as well. Because what I want to do is actually add in there kind of like a little bit of a fanfare or a cheer or something else like that. So what I've done is I've come along to sound effects and I've typed in cheer and I found this kind of like crowd cheer baseball let's go for this applause so here we go just click download that downloads that to there as I drag it in between I can then just drag that into my upload section and it adds it in there so now I can just add that in here and I can change the timing and then at the end of it I could then add in additional things if I want or if it's kind of like me going live it would go off the screen and then come back on so there you go that's how we've now added we've decided where we're going to be timing our videos so we've got a timing session we've added multiple audio we've downloaded and uploaded our own music this is really how you can now edit video in Canva and if something if you found this really useful make sure you do click that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon because as these new features come out i'll be doing tutorials on them showing you how you can use them and if you've got any questions or you want to learn how to do something drop me a comment down below in the um, comment section come along join my facebook group uh, called better content creators and join in the conversation there as well um, but yeah let's watch this video So that's how you can create a simple countdown timer using Canva and using the new Canva's video editing features. You can use multiple audio using epidemic sound. I've also shown you how you can kind of like what you need to do if you're using music from Canva within your uh, YouTube channel. You need to make sure you're connecting your social media accounts. 
So do make sure you do all that. As I say, any questions, pop them down in the comments below. Thank you very much, and until next time, bye for now.